Hey what's up everybody, it's Gwen and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how I trim my natural hair at home by myself. Alright, let's get started. So to start off, let's discuss the signs that you might see if you need a trim. First, no matter how much you moisturize your hair, your hair will still be dry. Next, your ends may not curl like they usually do. So you'll want to start this off on dry, stretched hair. I start by dividing my hair down the center. Then from each side, I take a section from the bottom of my head. Then I moisturize the section. I use a moisturizing spray with my LCO product and I just use a little bit of that. Uh, you don't want your hair to revert, you want to stay stretched. So I use a little bit of that and then I finger detangle because I don't like how combs cause so much breakage. So I finger detangle only. And then I ended up taking a smaller section from that section. And so I just run my fingers down the length of the hair so I already cut one side, which is my right side, and I just trimmed off where the split ends begin. So using that side as a guide, I slid my fingers down both ends and I saw where the guide side ended. And that will show me where to cut the other side. And when you're doing this, just make sure that you keep your head super straight and level so that you end up cutting at an even length. Next, I pretty much use the same steps. I take a new section, moisturize that section, and using the guide side, I cut the hair to the appropriate length. And I will constantly go back and make sure that all my hair is even. So don't be afraid to go back and double check. Also, I know this isn't going to be a perfectly even cut, but I think I got pretty close. So my natural hair journey started off as a very bad executed mini chop, so my hair is really uneven. Uh, when I get to a piece of hair that is uneven, I either do two things. If the ends really aren't that damaged, I'll just leave it or maybe I'll dust it. Uh, dusting is just cutting off about a quarter of an inch just to remove the split end before it progresses to a worse split. Or the other option I will do is to create a new guide strand. This is what I do in the crown of my head especially because this is where it's the shortest. So if the ends are so short that I would have to literally cut so much, I just make sure that I make a second guide strand, especially for the crown of my head to guide my shorter strands up top. When I get toward the front of my hair, I'll make the part that I like to wear, which is a side part. And then on the front, rather than holding the shears horizontally, when I cut, I move it to the side to create a swoop action in front of my hair to look like a side bang. I like to do this because it helps to frame my face with my hair and it won't look too choppy up front. And that's it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I saved so much money doing my hair myself and I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and also turn on your notifications so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.